I wonder how Hafton fares, now that he sits on the throne. Moira, is something wrong? Weep for Northumbria. Is it Hafton? Has he gotten worse? His heart is broken. He's a mere shadow of himself. With Faravid lost and his brothers away, he wallows in paranoia and sadness. I could speak with him. Where is he now? Wandering the fields of Pitaringa with his beloved Beonton. I'll find him. Thank you, Moira. Pitaringa is in the east. Just follow the road to Scarborough. Sunan, guide me. Nothing but snow, silent as a corpse in its grave. Stand up, Hafton. I'm taking you back to Jorvik. <laughs> up, my lord. You're a king. You're not allowed to sulk. Men bled and died to sit you on that throne. So go, sit. 
My brother, Ivar. Did he die well? He died fighting. You slew my brother and never said a word. You kept this from me! It was no secret. Uba knew, did he not? Leave me! I will not. I've come to see you safely home. Now get up. I... I have mislaid my hammer. I think Beonton ran off with it, but I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not well, Eivor. I'll find your hammer, and then you'll come with me. I was on my way to Scarborough. If you find my hammer, bring it to me there. There is Beontan guarding the hammer. Lighthouse, half and waits. This hammer is not meant to be thrown, Hafton. Remember that next time. <laughs> My father, Ragnar, he gifted this to me. Took it off a Finnish chief. Still warm with blood when he handed it to me. I had fourteen winters. Ragnar Lothbrok was a great king. A Finnish arrow killed my mother. A shield maiden she was. As fierce as a wolf swallowing the sun. My father swore to kill the men who took her from us. And he did. Fourteen against one. But that was years ago in the east. And this is the west, where my father lies dead. A pile of bones in a pit of snakes. And here we are, still telling stories of his life and deeds. How did my brother die? With his hand on his axe, awaiting the maidens of the battle slain. Now he drinks at our father's side, awaiting the war at the end of days. Beonton, my boy! <laughs> Come here, boy! A dog always forgives, but he needs you home. All of Northumbria does. <clears throat> Do a 
last thing for me. Light the beacon for all to see, and let it burn. One begins a long time ago at a desert oasis, far away, a place of Eivor, Sigurd wishes to speak with you. He is quite agitated. Has something happened? You will want to speak to him yourself. Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more, on my final voyage back to Norway, to wish my father farewell, and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. Greetings. I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... And beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go... Go with care. We'll leave now, and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be safe. Both of you.
far away, a place of mystery. Eivor! Hello! Hidden ball. Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway, and well beyond. To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! So strange. Run up the Little has changed, but it feels unfamiliar. Our few years abroad have shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. Hold on, good skull. This is Harold's fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father, his fool. Poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Alric studs. It thrives. The spy of all father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you'll light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. What it was it later. said? Our father spends his days in the mead halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. Will serves the mead halls. I remember one nearby, a sad hall where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come empty handed, not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts, they sniff and lick them without care. You are a chipper, brother. Dock the ship here! What do you see? Sunen, guide me. Poor Soker, he never leaves. From sun up to sundown, he just sits there, staring into his horn. Once, just once, I'd have him take a bath. He was a king once, that one. 
You'd never know by the way he sucks. We should go. Look at him. Father. Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you both. Stop. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. There was nothing sensible about your betrayal. Sigurd should have been king. You robbed him of that. Who did I betray? A son who was never home? A selfish boy with no sense of leadership? An arrogant You strangling. lie! I have led numberless men into battle and countless ships and raids across all the known world! You talk of kingship as if it were a matter of counting the notches on your axe. But to lead means so much more. I passed my crown to Harald because he was a man who understood the challenge put before him. Unlike you. You pathetic worm! Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was... Uh... He loved you. That is all. Argon nonsense. I've heard enough. My son, please. You have spoken your words and Sigurd has heard them. What happened to my son? What turmoil did he see that took his arm and darkened his mood? He saw his father for what he truly was. A coward who faced his enemies with more honesty than he did his family. I was a father to you, Eivor. 
I have no father. This sad business is finished. And good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. If you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them. How present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Finn und dir, Griefer! Do the swan road. Sail! Catch the wind! The daughters of Aye bless our passage. Yes, I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the elf king, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he'll push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England. We stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Being so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, with the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. But she was as mad as the oceans wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plants onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the Sigurd I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I am with you, brother. Until the end.
A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! You know the way. As I know my own mind, we will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw. Do not worry! To perish on a lonely fjord would be the shame of our clan. Ha! That we would! Wait for this to pass. Ah, oh, the sting of ice on skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow. To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With this ship where we have meat and food to warm us? No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods. They will not seek or find you. We must go to them. We would be poor company with frozen bones and ice pellets for ice. You need not fear the cold, Eivor. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. Bitter cold, as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady! It should not be far now! Frozen fingers, I hope so. There, the frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? You will see soon enough. Too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! The ice looks fragile. Can you see it? My heart hmm. races. This is it. Gods, this door. Have you seen this before? Space above. The saga stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nogvat unsh membro trurvondi gvorde 
un solas vras gnocatide, un sum hujas reis derae, jas How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come. Gods. What is this place? Over here, this plate will lead us onward. Ho era si! Sigurd. so strange. Trust this place, Eivor. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain and the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. This vessel, was it crafted by dwarves? It is finely made, that much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. And this cavern, so deep and humming with magic. There, the old tree, the tree of life. What is this? See how proudly she sits, how beautiful she gleams. Here, all the roots of life run together. Skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall. There. Do you feel that? The sacred energies. I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. Mother, how did she come to be here? Is that... is that Svala, Belka's mother? How did she come to be here? Yes, it is returning to me now. This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. And these shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? What lies beyond all this? Where does this lead? Take your place at the center there, and you will see. Sigurd! 